So in order to do this story justice, let's go back in our imaginations to the old Chicago Harbor, where now you see the amazing steel and glass skyscrapers. Imagine brick and mortar buildings and wooden warehouses along the lake shore and the banks of the Chicago River. With canvas laden boats and side wheel steamers going up and down the river, painting a picture of commerce at the turn of the century. This was at the time when the schooners primarily were just hauling lumber. The heyday of the schooner era was pretty much on the wane. But they still were able to haul an awful lot of lumber out of Michigan and Wisconsin to then be shipped, transshipped from Milwaukee and Chicago all across the Great Plains to build the cities there. But come October, most of those contracts were usually fulfilled, you know. And so there were a few enterprising ship owners and captains decided that they could go out back up to the old North Woods and extend the season by going to the old growth forest and cutting down the small trees that were growing up amid the stumps at the clear cut. They would haul those trees down to the waterside and out to their vessels at anchor, pile them in the holes and lash the rest on the deck. The most famous of these Christmas ships was captained by a fellow named Herman Schunemann. His brother August and he started in the mid 70s, 1870s, working with for Johnny Doak, and out of uh, near Wolf River, Wisconsin, is where a lot of these guys did their work, sailed out of. There were 54 vessels in all, but the most famous, as I said, was those captained by the Schunemann brothers, and in 1912, Herman Schunemann. left mid-October for the North Country. We were at Thompson Harbor near Manistique, Michigan in the UP. That year they loaded 5,500 trees and actually shipped another 1,500 by rail to Chicago. Left on the 22nd of November. By the 23rd, they were off of Two Rivers, Wisconsin in a snow squall, seen by the life-saving station there, flying distress, distress colors sails and rags, hauled up trying to make it to shore. And then they disappeared into a snow squall, never to be seen again. The loss of that vessel hit Chicagoans very hard. Why? Because unlike all the other ship captains, the Schunemann brothers sold their trees right from the vessel, right at the Clark Street Bridge, more often than not, right downtown Chicago. They had garlands and wreaths and, and uh, all kinds of wonderful holiday cheer. So it was quite a shock when the vessel didn't make it that year. Undaunted though. This is where the story becomes truly magnificent in its tragic way, but also beauty there too. Because the, the tradition was continued by the captain's wife, Barbara Schunemann at a time when women couldn't vote in this country, folks. Most women didn't even work outside of the household, so she was quite a role model for young women of her age. And they continued the business well into the, the Depression years. So as I sing you this remembrance, think about that vessel coming down year after year, the excitement on the children's faces as they hide amongst the trees and pick out their very special Christmas uh, tree and the tragedy, the loss, the sadness that enveloped the city. And then, the tradition returning the next year and many years after that. This is the Christmas ship. In the time of my life, a recollection often turns. The snow always fell knee deep. The iron wood stoves burn, the ever present distant sound of jingling sleigh bells, combined with the cadence of stuck and trade into a wonderful swell. The creeping of the days never fostered any fear. 
The hours spent on sleds and skates only slowly disappeared When a special day arrived, it came but once a year When to the Clark Street Bridge we'd go from the dark side we would peer Oh Papa come look, oh Mama can you see I've been waiting for so long for this to come to be Oh, Papa, come look. Oh, Mama, can't you see? Here comes the Christmas ship with all the Christmas trees. It was the Christmas ship that brought joy to us here. Those trees were grown up near Manistique and brought on down each year. Ralph Simmons was her name. Three-masted schooner was her frame. And the winter wild waters of the lake she always overcame The set of her captain's face and the smile within his eye Electrified that Chicago dock and all its passers-by But especially us kids with excitement that was there We'd bring home a tree from the Christmas ship with holiday in the air Oh, Papa, come look Oh, Mommy, can you see? I've been waiting for so long for this to come to be. Oh, Papa, come look. Oh, Mommy, can't you see? Here comes the Christmas ship with all the Christmas trees. And one year it all changed. Well, as I can recall, I was in the kitchen playing by the stove as the shadows began to fall. The sun warm winter day, no clouds crossed the sky, but the air grew damp, the storm rolled in and the snow began to fly. Papa came through the door, a sullen look was in his eyes. The weather's been real rough up north, he told me with a sigh, he said, the Christmas ship is lost. Then he just sat down, as evening darkened the room that night. A shadow cast over the town Oh, Papa, don't look Oh, Mama, I can't see I've been waiting for so long Don't tell this to me Oh, Papa, don't look Oh, Mama, can't you see Where is that Christmas ship With all the Christmas trees Seasons turned in time Through spring, summer, and fall And with most things my mind forgot A Christmas ship after all But one early winter's day Like so many times before I wandered the afternoon hours away Kicking down along the shore When she came in off the lake I can still see her now With the scent of pine And the deep green water Gently breaking off her bow and a lady at midship waving to me there on shore and she brought delight to the children's faces for 22 years more oh, oh papa come look oh mom can you see i've been waiting for so long for this to come to be oh papa come look oh mom can you see here comes the christmas ship with all the christmas trees Thank you again. Thank you very much.